Alright Raiders, this is AlexFX and I'm looking to take a scalp on the Euro Yen, uh, something a little bit different, it's a price action trade and uh, just trading off support resistance. So I brought the platform here, what I'm looking at is this area that I've highlighted right over here uh, where we have a level of resistance. So I'm looking to sell at market trading, uh, there's five lots here. So if we can get price moving into this area, I will look at taking a short. Uh, looking to keep a really tight stop on this and I'll see if we can get a run down as it says a bit of a scalp using a smaller time frame so let's see what happens pretty close to this area it's going to move to the one minute chart and just going to watch price approach this zone carefully all right so we're currently short now I'll just show you the actual working order you can see the working order back to the five minute chart and I'm looking for an immediate reaction off this. Stop loss in this is very, very tight. And I'll just show you this area right here. I'm looking for price action to reject heavily or off this zone. So let's adjust this and you'll see the stop on there. It's 2.1 pips. So very, very tight stop. And now what I'm looking for is I'm looking for price to clear through this area right over here basically a level of support you see it act as resistance and you see a nice close below this area and in terms of targets I'm going to watch this area down here so it's acted as a resistance in the past uh, so that's a level I definitely want to pay close attention to and that's just over seven pips away so you can see I'll give you uh, just over three R on the trade so we've got this little sort of a, a bearish flag formation this little channel I'm drawing here I'm looking for some follow through in terms of momentum. Here's a higher time frame, it's a 15 minute chart. I've had a bit of a rejection off this area. And you see this level right over here. A little price flip where price has held this resistance, come back, test support. And I've got this base down at the lows here where I want to eye out in case we get a, a real surge in price. Uh, these are target areas that I'm watching now. So here's the five minute chart. We had a nice little uh, close, five minute close showing rejection. And I'm watching down at these areas. See this level right here? This is that area of potential support that we saw on the one minute chart. I just highlighted quickly on the five minute. So something I'm just watching. And I definitely want to look at taking a uh, partial profit. That's around just shy of the eight pip mark. And obviously risking uh, just on two pips. So. Uh, you're getting very good R on the trade or risk reward. So I'm looking at closing uh, two thirds, we see uh, three lots out at this base coming up. And then what I'll do if we get down there, I'll look at getting to break even. So you can see we've got two pips of risk in the trade. We're moving down nicely here. Uh, just adjust this. So there's three lots, so they'll take off uh, two thirds of the position. And there's the working order, you can see we're currently four pips up. So with a, with a two pip stop, it's uh, I mean, getting two R on the trade now. So we'll just see what happens. I'm looking for a further follow through, just looking at price action. So we're getting a nice little move lower here. Maybe five pips up. Six pips. I'm just going to move to the one minute chart quickly and just see what's going on on the smaller time frame. All right, so moving into this area, so I've just closed off uh, that trade now that's given us uh, seven pips, so nice little trade. And we've got uh, two lots remaining, so a third of the position. And I've moved the stop to break even, so I expect a bit of a reaction from here. Just need to watch price and see what happens. Selling pressure still looks okay at this point. Uh, the buyers haven't really come in at this area. You can see this candle struggling to move anywhere just yet. So let's just see if there's some follow through. Uh, if we do get a bounce from here, I expect this area here to hold. This is a little uh, level of broken support. Uh, hopefully it'll come back and test resistance, but we'll just wait and see how the, how the buyers come in. They, they may not even get up there. So we've got this area on the left, I'm looking for price to move through. And 
you can see weak buyers here so sellers coming in strength again and I'm looking down towards this target it's about 16 pips and that will give us a very very nice little uh, risk reward on the trade if we do get down there so there's a five minute and we're coming into this this area that uh, we eyed out so we've taken partials on the trade and we took two thirds off and just looking for a surge lower here but just wait and see what happens into this level and hopefully we'll see some resistance come off now once we've broken through this this area you can see the sellers coming in off this this little area that I've marked off all right so we've had a bullish little close there and um, that's just something I want to watch very closely and if we now move back below this area I want to now get my stop down further and lock profits in so you can see the sell is still very strong here just want to see this candle if we get a nice close here then I'm gonna get to uh, get my stop down and just lock some profit in on this so watching this closely remember these are one minute bars so it's pretty quick so looking for this here here to hold and what I'm gonna do now I just want to bring up this platform and show you the spread it's got a very very tight spread on this it's just, uh, varies but it's 0.6.8 pips so very very tight uh, you can't scalp or trade this way unless you have a very tight spread so just adjusting this and I'm going to just give it a little bit of room so we've locked in uh, five pips on the trade and now I'm looking for further follow through and looking for another close lower now so we've got this area right here and I'm be looking for price to close below this area and then hopefully for it to act as resistance so this area right here so broken support come back we'll see if we can uh, retest it as resistance currently 10 pips up so about 5 R on that on that position so here's the uh, 5 minute chart you see we're bouncing off support at the moment and there's the 15 I'll just show you this is the 15 minute chart is the higher time frame in this case you see this base of support on the left hand side so really looking for price to sort of react around you but it just depends on how strong the, the buyers are so we've got this area here and I'm looking for price to be capped by this level of resistance now I'm just going to watch this closely obviously being a one minute chart you can get price moving very very quickly so looking for selling pressure now Alright, so we're coming off this level. Let's see if we get some follow through here. If we get some follow through, I want to let me just get some get my stop down a little bit more. Alright, so we've had this candle here. I don't like the fact it's got a bit of a rejection from the wick, but I don't like the fact that it's bullish. So I'm just going to reduce that stop so lock you uh, more profit on this trade. Let's see if we can get some follow through now. This level really needs to hold if we're going to get a surge down to our take profit area. And obviously now we've got this base of support to clear through. So let's see what price does. Currently 11 pips. Currently 12. Okay, we're getting a nice surge. This is what I'd like to see. And what I'm going to do is just watch price very closely as we come into this zone. You can see the rejection here with this wick. And... So I'm going to watch this very closely now. I'm going to take this off. All right, so I've taken the trade off at, uh, at plus 10. And I'll just recap. So we went short, and you can see our prices uh, broken down very nice. We had nice momentum follow through there. And uh, we averaged uh, on that trade, we averaged 8.2 pips overall. So we got uh, just over 4 hour on the trade. And you can see the reaction off the base of the support there. So I hope you found that helpful. I'm Alex FX and thank you for watching.